Hey everybody, this is Therese Paler. You're watching Chiefs Daily. All right, we had a really nice day out here. Nice and sunny. This is the last open practice for a few days. Chiefs are only playing their first preseason game on Saturday. So tomorrow they're gonna have off and on Friday they have a walkthrough. Neither one of those will be open to the public. So this is our last look at them, at least until their preseason game. Uh, as always, I'm gonna give you the injury report first. Then we're going to go through some observations through practice. I've got some good ones for you today. And also uh, what you can expect in tomorrow's star. All right, so let's kick off as we always do with the, with the injuries. First things first, Jeremy Mackle was back on the field today. Uh, good to see him. Uh, he's out there doing his thing with the wands, had that neck strain. Uh, make sure I asked him afterward. He came to speak to us in the tent. I asked him how he got that neck strain. Uh, he said he, it happened on a play in practice. And then I asked him, was it the play where he got dragged down by Cooper? And he just, uh, he looked just like this. I swear, he's like, man, I don't know, which means yes. <laughs> so it's pretty safe to say he got hurt on the play, but he's back out here playing, man. Um, and obviously that's important. That guy is the key to the offense. He's really going to help open things up. So uh, good for the Chiefs and good for their fans to have Jeremy Macklin back out here. Had some injuries happen today in practice. It's kind of interesting. Josh Mauga starting inside linebacker with Derek Johnson. Left practice, uh, heel injury, so he was working out on the sidelines. Uh, you know, is a guy they need. He's a good complement to Derek, but he's got to stay healthy. Uh, last time I talked to him, he seemed fine. So, uh, you know, hope, hopefully for him, this is just a, uh, you know, this isn't a common thing because that guy needs to stay healthy to be an effective player. So, uh, you know, we'll keep try, keep an eye on him. Also, we're having a little some injuries here at the inside linebacker spot. Derek, DJ Alexander, the team's fifth round pick, went out with a uh, a high ankle sprain. So really that left them with three inside linebackers. Um, that left them with uh, my, my guy Justin March, who we recently wrote about. And he actually got in with the first team a little bit today. And uh, obviously Derek Johnson, healthy doing his thing. And Rameek Wilson, the fourth round pick. So yeah, it, it was definitely noticeable that in the team session today, uh, when Morgan went out, Rameek Wilson got reps with the first team, but so did Justin March. So Justin's an undrafted guy that they're really giving a look to. And Reed just said up here, he likes March. He says he's a tough kid. They're excited about him. So Justin March is a guy to keep an eye on, guys. Uh, we wrote about him a few days ago because he's caught my eye. It's good to see Andy say the same thing because he's, he's been doing stuff. I'll, I'll hear today he ran over somebody. So that guy's been doing his thing. Good job for him. Uh, Marcus Reed, the guard, he came back. Uh, he had that ankle injury, but he practiced today. Uh, so let's go to these observations. A lot of stuff going on in practice today. I thought I thought Aaron Murray had an excellent day of practice. Three really nice deep balls. Two of them were to Ron Brown. So one was an over-the-shoulder fade. Brown caught near a right sideline, which was awesome. And one was a gorgeous post route that he, he put out in front of Brown, and Brown went and ran under it. It was awesome. Um, you know, it, it was really good to see uh, Murray kind of get it together, make some nice throws. This is a guy they've invested some time in. So we're going to see what he's about on Saturday. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he can go deep because he's shown the ability to chuck it a little bit. He just needs to be consistent. And um, if he can find that consistency, you know, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what kind of player he ends up being. Uh, One-on-ones for the offensive line. We had, <laughs> I thought the best pass for us came with David Irving. Defensive end from, from Iowa State, flat back to Von Rooks on the power rush. Uh, Irving is a big, long, fast guy, and he he's listed at 270. He looks thin, so he might be able to get up to 290 or something. If that guy gains weight, he might end up being a player. I think he's somebody that they might want to invest some time in developing. So he needs to put out good tape and stuff in the preseason, but he, he's a guy I'll have my eye on because he might be worth developing. Maybe the player practice came team session. It actually wasn't team session, seven on sevens. When Eric Berry caught a deflected pass and returned it for a touchdown and again got extended applause. Uh, Berry's a guy everybody's going to look forward to seeing on Saturday. The thing with him is we just don't know how much he's going to play or really if he's going to play. Andy Reid was pretty vague about that today. I think it's going to come down to how he feels. But it's safe to say, I mean, he's been practicing every day. So, I mean, he's on track to make his comeback this year. A great job by him. A uh, real inspiring story. Uh, thought uh, the Damian Washington, the Mizzou product, had a great had a great uh, catch in practice. It was a diving catch. That was the third big uh, 
big throw that I saw Aaron Murray make. Yeah, Washington, yeah, Murray led Washington on like a go route, and Washington laid out, gave 100% to go get it. So good for him. You got to make those kind of catches to catch the coach's eye when you're a guy like that at the bottom of the depth chart trying to get, trying to earn more opportunities. Um, and also, Tyvon Branch, who had an interception yesterday, had another one today. Good job by him. Uh, you know, Branch is a guy that gives them some versatility. And uh, you know, he's got a chance to be a really good third safety or fourth safety for him. You know, kind of serving in that Kirk Coleman role. who did a nice job last year in nickel and dime. So I think Branch has a chance to help him, along with Barry. I mean, the point is they've got a lot of safety depth. And that's not a bad thing in today's NFL because teams throw so much. And you really want guys that can cover a little bit and stop the run. You know, little guys that can do that is a big thing. So, you know, I think Branch has a chance to maybe help these guys this year. Uh, for tomorrow's paper, uh, my partner Blair Kirkhoff is going to write something about Eric Berry, you know, just what Berry's uh, you know, prognosis is for Saturday's game, just, just an update on how he's doing. And uh, personally, I'm going to write something on the offensive line. Jamal Charles came up here after practice, talked to the media. You know, the offensive line, you know, it was rough in spots last year, you know. And uh, he's not, I mean, he's telling the truth. You know, there wasn't a ton of room for people to run. And, you know, whatever they got, a lot of it was because of scheme. Danny did a good job calling plays, especially the first half of the season. So he seemed excited about this year's group. He called Ben Grubbs like Brian Waters. So that's pretty high praise. And I, I do agree. I think Grubbs is the best guy on this line right now. He's a guy I have no, honestly, 100%. I don't have any concerns about Ben Grubbs. This guy plays every day. He plays every game no matter what. He's a tough guy. He, he's a pro ball. He, he knows what he's doing. Okay, so he's the guy on the line that you don't worry about the rest. The rest of the guys all have something to prove, okay? From Fish to Morse to Cush, uh, Fulton, uh, you know, Jeff Allen, all these guys have something to prove, and that's nothing new. They know that too. So, um, you know, I'm going to write a little bit about that. And we get our first clips on them Saturday, and you know I'll be watching that. Uh, lastly, I just want to say thanks again for watching videos uh, through the first part of camp here. We got three more camp practices next week, but uh, I'm told that these videos have done real well, and it's an emphasis for us now. So, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on the stories and following me. Um, you know, we work hard out here to give you the best Chiefs news possible. So remember, keep going to KansasCity.com. Go to my Facebook page at TPKC Star. Go ahead and follow that. I'm giving you Chiefs news in many ways as possible, guys. So, uh, and also, with the Facebook page, that's a good way to ask me questions, too. Um, I'll, I always check that, and I always respond. So, whereas on Twitter, I get so many responses, sometimes I don't. So, um, even though I try. Uh, but lastly, thanks, guys, man. Appreciate it. And, uh... Hey, I'll see you guys next week.